Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session devotionals for this one. By the grace of God, we're looking at the topic, the benefit of great power. Topic one more time, the benefit of great power under the series, benefit of true fasting and prayers. Also, my humble self, the key. Text taken from the book of Luke chapter 4, from verse 1 down to 15. But let's pray before we begin. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness in our lives. It is by your mercies that we are not consumed. Your word said, if you are to mark iniquity, who will stand? But your mercy will prevail over judgment in our lives. I will come. Say so thank you for the prayer of ministry this morning. We've come to hear from you this morning. Father, we ask speak to us and grant us understanding. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 8, you sent the word unto Jacob and enlightened unto Israel. Psalm 107, verse 20, you sent your word and heal them and deliver them from their destruction. Send your word into our heart this morning and deliver us from all spiritual ignorance. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Topic for this morning, the benefit of great power. Topic one more time, the benefit of great power under the series, benefit of true fasting and prayers. Host Luke K. Text taken from the book of Luke chapter 4 from verse 1 down to 15. I'll skip some verses. Verse 1 said, And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan, that's after his baptism, and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Let's move down to verse 14. Because we all know what preceded. The devil came, tempting him, turned these stones to bread. He said, No, man shall not live by bread alone, but by the word that proceeded from the mouth of the Lord. And of course, in verse 13, when the devil ended all the temptation, he liberated him for his season. Let's move on to verse 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame, a fame of him throughout all the region throughout all the region around about and verse 15 and he taught in their synagogues being glorified of all may the lord bless his word and grant his understanding in jesus name for that is in second kings chapter 17 from verse 36 to 38 it's about the lord who brought you up out of the land of Egypt with great power and an outstretched arm him shall you fear and him shall you worship and to him shall you do sacrifice so it takes great power to come out of bondage. It took great power from the Lord to bring the children of Israel out of the land of captivity. And of course, by his address, and I pray God's power will be revealed to you and you will become untouchable in the name of Jesus. We move down to the side cells and the status and the ordinances and the law and the commandment which he wrote for you, you shall observe to do forevermore and you shall fear other gods. That means their reward. There are patterns, there are steps to take to remain in this power. And I pray, as you abide to the commandment of the Lord, the power of God will not leave you in the name of Jesus. You will be an ex-powerful man in the kingdom of darkness in Jesus' name. Of course, the devil knows who is powerful and who is not. They say, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Who are you? I remember they beat the sons of Scephas because they had no what, no dimension of power. But that will not be a portion of Jesus and come that scripture down to verse 38. First Chronicles 29 from verse 10 down to 14 said, Wherefore David blessed the God, the Lord before the congregation of David said, Blessed be thou, Lord, God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever, said verse 11, Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in the earth. Is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Meaning, look how I said it. It said, Thine, verse 11 said, Thine, O Lord, is thy greatness and the power that he now preceded, and glory, and victory, and majesty. So that means you can't see glory, nor victory, nor majesty without power. Oh, grant your understanding in Jesus. And verse 12 said, Both riches and honor. Come of thee, and thou reignest over all, and in thy hand is power and might, and in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. You will see riches, you will see honor, you will see glory. I pray you will see majesty of the Lord. You will see victory as you walk in power in Jesus' name. Now, for that, the March chapter 17, from verse 14 down to 21 said, And when and when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down, saying, Lord, have mercy, in verse 15, on my son, for his lunatic and so vexed. For oft times he fell into fire, and oft into the water. 
and I brought you to that cell in about 16, they could not cure him, and in verse 17, Jesus said, bring him, and they brought him. And of course, Jesus said to them, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I support you? Bring him to that to me. And the brought him, in verse 16, and Jesus rebuked the devil, and the devil departed out of him immediately, and the child was cured from that very hour. And look how happened in verse 19. Then came the disciples of Jesus apart and said, Master, why could we not cast out this demon? And it was 20. And he said unto them, Because of your unbelief, that's the first point. So you need faith. And I pray as you walk in fasting and prayer, as you truth, you walk in dimension of power, and I will boost your faith in Jesus' name. In verse 20, Jesus said, Because of your unbelief, in our father said, Verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, the move hence beyond that place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. And now went for that in verse 21 said, I'll beat this kind going not out, but by prayer and fasting. How beat this kind going not out, but by prayer and fasting. I keep saying there's a dimension of addictions, there's a dimension of bad habit you are going through. You can't come out of fasting and prayer. I am a victim of one. I used to be addicted so much. But God helped me through fasting and prayer. I came out of it. When I look back, I don't do those things anymore. I pray you will come out of every bondage that the devil has kept you under hitherto in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 4 to 9. That's our last father. He said, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without what? Blame before him in love, said in verse 18. The eyes, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of the inheritance in the sea. Now, when for that same verse 19, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, to us, word who believe according to the working of his mighty power? You will see the mighty power of God in your life in the name of Jesus. No more sickness. No more disease, no more lack and wonder around you in Jesus' name. Topic one more time the benefits of great power under the seed, benefits of true fasting and prayers. Host, look at key. Text, look for 1 to 15. We we'll read that for that reading. Second Kings 17, 36, 38. First Chronicles chapter 29, from verse 10 to 12. Matthew 17, 14 to 21. And Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 4 to 9. Please, I want to beg you at a leisure time. Read the scriptures again. I am certain God will speak to you through them. And you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap. Am I blowing word for this morning? Yes? Great power precedes great glory. And great power is a function of great fasting. Think that again. Great power precedes great glory. And great power is a function of great fasting. Think about this. Today we'll look at the topic, the benefits of great power, on the teaching series on benefit of true fasting and prayers. But first, by way of introduction, let's recognize that great power is a product of great fasting and prayers. In life, the prince of this world, the accuser of the brethren, the agent of darkness, would never leave a man alone without power. Remember, the Bible said, woe to the earth, or woe to the inhabitant of the dead, for the devil has been cast down to the head to feast on dust and man is a product of dust so the devil is here with us he's the prince of this world he's here with his fallen angels they are here to combat you and i to hell but with power they will leave you alone by introduction one more time we say great power is a product of great fasting and prayers one for that same life the prince of this world the accuser of the brethren and the agent of darkness will never leave a man alone without power. So, it takes power to stay free from attacks. It takes power to stay free from sicknesses. It takes power to stay free from lack and pains. And until a man becomes a shining and a burning light, the enemy will leave him alone. And he can't see exploit or glory either. But I pray, as you walk in power, we shall see exploit, even this year, even this month. We shall see glory in the name of Jesus. Power is really sweet because it is light. And the currency that buys this power in question is only the currency of fasting and prayers, which perhaps many people don't like. 
But I pray this morning, you will love fasting and prayers. And as you walk in this reality, you will see the glory of the Lord. You will see the majesty of the Lord. You will see the victory over your enemies. And you will see riches in abundance in the name of Jesus. The Genesis chapter 32 from verse 32 29. Because of time, I can't read talking about Jacob. He had fracas with his elder brother Esau. He knew if he returned back to that country town, his brother Esau is going to kill him and is going to destroy all that he has got in the house of labor. He separated himself, sent his wife, his children, all that he had to the other side. He went to the mountain and began to pray, began to fast, began to pray, and God came down. He said, Thou hast power with God and with man has prevailed. He said, What is your name? He said, Jacob. He said, Going forward, your name shall no more be Jacob or Israel. And of course, what a nation Israel has become today. So he went back to his hometown and there was peace with him and his brother. God will grant you eternal peace in the name of Jesus. As you seek the Lord in prayer and fasting, in truth and in spirit, God will reveal his peace. God will reveal his wealth and his abundance to you in the name of Jesus. Daniel chapter 9 from verse 2 down to 23. He said, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in those relations of Jerusalem. And of course, 70 years came and gone. And in verse 3, Daniel began to ask. And I set my face unto the Lord to seek by prayer and supplication with what fasting and with sackcloth and ash. And in verse 4, and I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and the dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy of them that love him and to them that keep his commandment. Look how happened in verse 20. And whilst I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel and presenting my supplication before the Lord God, the holy mountain of my God, yea, verse 21 said, whilst I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, talking about angel Gabriel, whom I have seen the vision in the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. I was trying to do, and he informed me and talked with me and said, Oh, Daniel, I have now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. This season has word upon the Lord, apart from great power that you experience, great skill, unique skill and understanding will be endowed upon you in the name of Jesus. At the beginning of this application, the commandment came forth, and I have come to show thee for thou greatly beloved. So when you fast, you are greatly beloved. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. God will show you strange things even this season in Jesus' name. Galatians chapter 1 from verse 15 24 said, But when he pleased God, who separated me from mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I may preach him among the hidden. Immediately, I compared now with flesh and blood. That's Paul the apostle. This is testimony. Said in verse 17, neither I went I to Jerusalem to them which are apostles before me now. But I went to the Arabia. I went to the mountain to separate myself. I went to pray and fast and return again unto Damascus. And in verse 18 said, Then after three years, I went home to Jerusalem to see Peter and I bought with him 15 days. This is testimony of the great apostle Paul. You can't preach the Bible by talking about what Paul said, what Paul said. This man is a great man of fasting and prayers. After his encounter with Jesus, on his way to Damascus to persecute the Christians, he separated himself, went to the Arabians, was there fasting and prayer for three years. When he came out, power was oozing out of him. And what a great testimony we've seen of Paul. You can complete that scripture down to verse 24. We'll be trying to look at this subtopic real benefit of great fasting and prayer, real benefit of true fasting and prayer. We have seen a point yesterday, we saw the benefit of setting for the top. One more time, subtopic, real benefit of true fasting and prayers. And we've seen the benefit of setting for the top. Please, you can reference this teaching series. You will be blessed in Jesus. And today, we're looking at the second point. One more time, subtopic, real benefit of true fasting and prayers. We're looking at the benefit of true, benefit of great power, beg your pardon. We're looking at benefit of what? Of great power. One more time, real benefit of true fasting and prayers. We're looking at the benefit of great power. This simply is accessing the realm of divine power for divine glory on the earth, which invariably brings the saints to envy among men. 
I see you being turned to envy among men in Jesus' name. Benefit of great power. We said it simply assessing the realm of divine power for divine glory on the earth, which invariably brings the saints to envy among men. In Genesis chapter 32, from 23 down to 29, we see our father Jacob turn out to become an envy via the altar of prayer and fasting. He separated himself, went to pray, had an encounter with God. He had a change of name from Jacob to Israel and what a nation Israel has become today via one man's encounter. I pray you will have an encounter that will make you an envy among men in the name of Jesus. Don't forget Isaac. I, uh, Genesis 26, there about from verse 1 down to 14. He saw in the same year, he received in the same year a hundredfold. The Lord blessed him. He went forward, waxed strong, and became great until the Philistines envied him. It turned out to become the envy of the nations around him. Why? Because he was a man given to prayer and fasting. Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 to 3 said, Arise. Said, arise, arise in prayers, arise in fasting. Said, arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon the new. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. So it doesn't matter the principalities and powers, it doesn't matter the agent of darkness militating against your destiny. He said, For behold, darkness will cover the earth, and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon the new, and his glory shall be seen. As you wait upon the Lord, you will see his glory. In Jesus' name, verse 3 said, And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Matthew chapter 17, 14, 23, 21, we see how a possessed child, a lunatic child, was brought to the disciples of Jesus. They could not speak out those demons. The man brought the child to the master and said, Jesus, your disciples are fake. And Jesus said, How long will I be with you? If only you can have faith as little as a monster seed, you say to this material remove and it will move. He said, Because of your unbelief, you cannot cast out this demon. He said, How be it? This kind going out are up by fasting and prayer. So, everyone, every generation, every family has a discount that will never go except that prayer is coupled with fasting. And as you pay the price, I see you coming on top in the name of Jesus. I remember last year, last, I think I began. Uh, as crossover to the year 2019, I had God said I should wait on him for a whole year. That's like fast for one year. Doesn't make sense. I pretended that I didn't hear. I had a voice and gave a wait on me for a year. <sighs> I waited on God by his grace for one full year. I became thin and so tiny that people thought I was sick. But when I came out of that power, till today, I couldn't recover from the testimonies I was in. And by this already again, we also have another 21 being launched from our church, which is joyful for me to run with it. Please, I want to employ you. Kids, you must have fasting. We still have down to 20 something of this one. So please join the chariot. You will never regret it. God grant you understanding. In Jesus' name. Luke chapter 4, from verse 1 to 15. Our anchor scripture. Jesus returned from baptism. He went, of course, to the wilderness to fast and pray for 40 days. And of course, the devil came tempting him. He said, I know you are hungry. Why don't you turn the stones to bread and feed on them? And Jesus said, no. The Bible said, God said, man shall not live in by bread alone, but by every word that comes out from the mouth of the Lord. Brought him under temptation, took him to the high mountain, and said, look at all these beautiful things. I'm going to give you your burden to worship me. Jesus said, thou shalt worship me in other God, except our Father. And of course, the Bible said, and the devil liveth him for his season. If the devil could leave the Almighty, the one that carries the anointing without measure, and could leave him for only but for a season and return time and time again to check on him and to tempt him, then you and I were not the exemption. The devil will keep setting his agent to keep tempting you every now and then. But this is how to get out. Stay in power. How can you stay in power? Through fasting and prayers. Acts of the Apostleship 2, from verse 1 down to 46, we see the day of Pentecost was come. Jesus instructed disciples, don't start your ministry, go and develop power. So they were in the upper room praying and fasting until the day of Pentecost came. Said there was a rush of mighty wind from on high, and cloth of fire descended upon their head, and everyone began to speak in tongues. And people around said, These guys are drunk. Peter stood up and said, We're not drunk. This is the fulfillment of the promise who came from Joel, Prophet Joel. He said, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters. 
shall prophesy, and the old men shall see visions. I began to exalt them. And he said, What can we do to be saved? He said, Repent ye. And he said, Repent. About 3,000 souls was added to the disciples come. And that day, that was the beginning of a new era for us. And here we are, you and I, we are benefactors of this. So please, I want to employ you. Give it to personal prayer, you regret. Subtopic Real benefit of true fasting and prayers. We're looking at the benefit of great power. We said this simply is accessing the realm of divine power for divine glory on the earth, which invariably brings the saints to envy among men. You can read Genesis 32 23 29, Isaiah 64 103, March 17 14 21, Luke 4 105, Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 from verse 1 down to 46. Please, I want to beg you at your free time. Read the scriptures, you'll be blessed. It's a whole lot of sacrifice for me to put the scriptures together, to put this right up. So please, take advantage of it. It will develop you and bless you. And we all meet at the top of the top in the name of Jesus. Lastly, let's recognize that without fasting and prayers, without fasting and prayer, there can't be power. And without power, you can't stay free from the torment of the devil. We live in a world where you don't need to offend anybody before they won't hurt you. We live in a world where the enemy is combating for your destiny day and night. But it takes only power to keep him an arm's length, to keep his agent an arm's length. And I pray the grace to be the sacrifice of fasting and prayers will be your portion in the name of Jesus. However, let's recognize that without salvation, it is impossible to pray and fast. It would look like these guys are wasting their time. But you do not remember what the Bible said. Men ought always to pray, Luke 1 18, and not to faint. He said, If a man feels in the day of adversity, his strength is little. So if you don't build stamina for the day of adversity, it will come. Because what the Bible said, When thou passes through the waters or through the fire, I'll be with you. So the wind is going to come. Everyone has his trial and his temptation season. But I pray you be wise enough in the beginning of this year to build stamina for the year 2020. I pray you be wise enough to build strength. For the year 2020 god grant you understanding in jesus name if you really want to say yes to jesus you want to fast and pray you want to pass on that mission of power so you can say stop to this demon and say stop you want to stay free from sickness you want to stay free from torment and affliction i want you to pray with me this prayer accept jesus in truth remember galatia tree said christ has redeemed us from the cause of our lord so it doesn't matter the affliction you've been in it doesn't matter the evil that has been on your head, it doesn't matter. Whatever the enemy has done, you can come out of it by saying yes to Jesus. Place your hand on your chest, bow your head and say, Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I'm a sinner, forgive me my sins. I know you come to this aid for my sake, you died on the third day for my freedom. Right now, Jesus, I confess to my Lord and my Savior, have mercy upon me. Wash me with your blood and purify me in the name of Jesus. Write my name in the book of life. Grant me eternity at the end of my journey on earth. Grant me grace to live in power. Let it, let it with Daniel, live in power, let it with Jesus, live in power. All the days of your life you on the head, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We'll take two prayers. I will shut down. First prayer. Father, in this season of waiting on you, empower and fortify me for glory and start up in the name of Jesus. Look forward to us, and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit, and there went out the fame of him throughout all the region. Father, in this season of waiting upon you, empower and fortify me for glory and for startup in the name of jesus father in the season of waiting on you and power and fortify me for glory and startup in the name of jesus this my patience for you hear me oh god in the season of waiting upon you and power and fortify me for glory and startup in the name of jesus last prayer father in the season of waiting among the body of christ a part of saint in nigeria and africa for great export and envy among others, thereby bringing many to Christ in the name of Jesus. Daniel chapter 2, from verse 4 to 6, down to 48, we see the king Nebuchadnezzar bow down to worship Daniel because Daniel, through what fasting and prayers, could reveal to the king the dream that the king had and he forgot and also gave him the interpretation. And look at what happened in verse 48. And the king made Daniel a great man in the kingdom of Babylon. God will make you great. In the name of Jesus. As power begin to ooze out of you, I see you becoming great in Jesus' name. Join me, let's pray this prayer, Father. 
in this season of wisdom of you empower the saints in nigeria and africa for great exploit and envy among others they are bringing many to christ in the name of jesus father in this season of wisdom of you among the body of christ empower the saints in nigeria and africa for great exploit and envy among others they are bringing many to christ in the name of jesus thank you father for jesus and we pray journey pray this prayer share this gospel and be blessed from intercession ministry god bless you see you tomorrow i pray that this day will be a day of good news for you you will receive cause of favor cause of good news in the name of jesus thank you for your time god bless you